What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the On small, rugged, portable Bluetooth speaker in Cobalt I picked up at Walmart for $14.88. Out of five stars, this speaker gets four and a half out of five out of 250 customer reviews. You can buy this speaker in Aqua, Greystone, or Cobalt, which we have in front of us here today. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. We're going to see what the speaker looks like, the quality of it. We're going to see what comes in the box. And last but not least, stick around till the end of the video so you can get a good idea of how this speaker sounds. We will be doing a sound test. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. So here we have the on rugged portable Bluetooth speaker. By design, it really doesn't look all that rugged from the front of the box, but I think what makes this rugged is the fact that it has a silicone casing around it, so it should be somewhat drop resistant. Also, what you'll notice by looking at the front of the box is it does say it is IPX7 rated, which is actually pretty amazing for a $14, $15 speaker. As you can see, we do have the cobalt color. This does come with an eight hour playtime. Hopefully it sounds good and hopefully it lasts the eight hours like it says. So if we just turn the box to the side here, we actually get a little pull tab on the top of the box here. There's a couple little flaps you have to move out of the way to get the speaker out, but you can pretty much see here, it comes pretty nicely packaged. Everything is uh, pretty well kept and maintained here. It doesn't look like the speaker has been used before. Uh, you get a USB to micro USB charging cable. And last but not least, you do get a user guide in the box. Uh, you get a pretty clear and easy to understand user manual here. On Walmart's website, it does say you can pair it with compatible devices. Uh, not really sure where to find that compatible devices list. You get a play button, you get a plus and minus button, you get a Bluetooth button, and you get like a little circle button at the top here. My assumption is you should probably be able to make phone calls with this or yeah, what looks to be a little microphone on the top, maybe activate the voice assistant. Like I said, this is sort of like a rubber texture around the speaker itself, so maybe it is somewhat shock resistant. Uh, what I really like is this uh, cap here is pretty thick and it actually sits pretty deep inside the ports itself to protect them. Uh, last but not least, you'll notice at the bottom of the speaker here are some little nibs. Uh, they're actually just feet so you can lay the speaker confidently upright. Okay, so what I really appreciate about this speaker is you actually get to see exactly the name of the speaker, which is really helpful when looking for a new device, for example. It does come right up at the bottom as blue. You definitely want to have the volume all the way up on the speaker, so uh, you do get a little chime letting you know. Let's go ahead and hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, so as you pretty much heard, this speaker actually sounds pretty good. I am actually thoroughly impressed with the way this sounds. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I did review a pretty inexpensive Insignia portable Bluetooth speaker from Best Buy about a month ago. Yeah, that speaker was only nine bucks, but I think I got it on sale. Originally, that speaker was, I think, maybe 15 bucks. That speaker does not sound half as good as this speaker for $14.88. 
Uh, with that being said, as you saw, I did have it on three different EQ settings. I had it on a flat EQ setting, I had it on a bass booster EQ setting, and I had it on a bass reducer EQ setting. Usually in these cases, I go for the flat EQ setting as the most robust, richer sounding EQ, the best sounding EQ. Uh, bass reducer sounded great. You still got the thumpiness of the bass. You could still pick up the beats and differentiate them from the rest of the music, which I really like. And last but not least, I thought the flat EQ setting made it sound a little bit fuller, but not exactly richer. Uh, you definitely got just a little bit more of that bass uh, then on bass reducer, it made it sort of closer to a bass booster, which I thought was interesting, but it just wasn't quite as deep as the bass booster setting. Uh, at the highest volume, I was getting about 94 decibels using the decibel meter on the iPhone. This thing does sound loud and clear and very crisp. As you can see, it's kind of unlevel and it does wobble around a little bit. You do have to set it upright on its feet and basically rotate it left or right into the direction you want to get the best sound. It is a one directional facing speaker. Uh, so maybe place it in the corner of a room, for example, if you're having just a little get together in your living room or on your porch, or maybe if you take it to the pool or the beach, have it setting behind you. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this video gave you some value as to how good a speaker like this actually is at this price point. Because I picked it up at Walmart, that does make it a big box good. My name is John, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.